All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about border padding. We're gonna say what it is, why we need it, how does it work, and jump straight into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll be able to see how we could take an image and add border padding around it, and we'll see the different types involved um, that you can choose from, okay? So what is border padding? A uh, simple idea is we are adding pixels to the border of the image. So you can see here on um, this corner here or this area here, you can see that we're adding more pixels, okay? So this is one specific type of border padding. So why do we need border padding? One of the main reasons is to preserve the image size. And this is important for convolution. So because when you convolve something, um, usually if you don't add padding, your resultant image will actually be smaller based on the kernel that you're using. And we'll talk about convolution later. And it's also good for handling boundary conditions because maybe there's some special cases happening in the border and based on that, you may choose a specific border to handle it appropriately. Okay, so how does border padding work? There's a lot of different types of padding options. We have a constant, we have replicate, we have reflect, wrap, reflect 101, transparent, reflect 101 again, and then a default and isolate. So by default, we're actually using reflect 101. And reflect 101, we could see here that what 101 means is that it's not including the border value. So um, here you can see the B here. So when B gets reflected, B is not showing again. Okay, whereas uh, reflect, you can see the border value gets repeated. So if the border is A, A shows up again. For reflect 101, the border value doesn't show up again. So that's why um, you don't see it. You don't see the H here twice, right? And here you don't see the B twice. Okay, so there's different options here for constant replicates, wrap, and so on. We'll see that in practice later on, okay? So let's just jump straight into the coding. All right, so here's our example. We're gonna do our usual and load in some of the modules that we need. So import CV2 as CV and then import OS and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And we're gonna call our function here um, padding a demo. And then we have our if, if um, name, I can't type right now, equals main. And then we're gonna call our padding demo function. So inside our padding demo function, let's go ahead and read our file. So us.get uh, CWD, and then we're gonna get our image path. It's gonna be os.path.join, and then we have root demo images, uh, tesla.jpg, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and read our image. So image equals cv.umread, and then pass in our image path. So once we pass that in, we could convert it to RGB, and we're gonna do cv.cvt color, and then we have image is going to be cv.color. And then we have bg bgr to rgb, OK? So now we, what we want to do is choose some padding option, OK? So here I'm going to exaggerate the padding and use 200 just so it's more obvious. In practice, you may use a smaller padding. Um, but there's different border types here, OK? So you could see what the border types are if you just start typing out cv.border. So you can see that there's a couple of options. We're gonna do one for constant. You have um, another one that we're gonna use is the reflect, cv.border. And we can also use um, replicate here. And let's see, we have cv.border. And let's also take a look at the wrap option. So these are some of the options we'll be looking at. And then let's go ahead and create some titles for our plots just so we don't get lost when we're plotting. So we have a constant, we have a reflect, we have a replicate, and then we have a wrap. Okay, so these are the five plots we're doing. So now let's go ahead and plot the things that um, we have here. So we have for i in range, in range, and then it's the length of our borders. Okay, so inside we're gonna go ahead and do a plt.plot. But before that, let's create our figure. So plt.figure and then plt.subplot. Let's go ahead and plot our original graph. So we have a 2, 3, 1, 
And then we have a uh, arm show. So our original image is image RGB. And we're going to go ahead and just title this. Um, oops. I'm going to title this called original. Original. Okay. So let's go ahead and let me just comment this out real quick. And I'm going to do a plot show to see the original image so you know what we're working with. So our original image is just going to be nothing with padding, right? So this is our original image. So now if we go ahead and add in our images with um, padding, let's go ahead and make a subplot inside our for loop where we're going to increment um, by 2 since the zero index and we're skipping the first image. And then we're going to do a plt.amshow. And we're going to pass in our, um, our function that we're going to use to add the padding, which is actually called copy make border. And what it takes is, as an input argument is the image that we're um, passing in. And then you have a top, bottom, left, right padding. So here I'm using the same padding size for all four. So I'm just going to call them pad. And then the border type that we're using is going to be the types that we have listed in our list. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and just add in the title here. Going to have our border titles, just so we know what we're looking at, and then do a. Um, that should be it. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this, we should see our different options. Okay, we could um, see exactly what each border is doing. So here it's going to load up, and then we see that. You know, constant, we have a constant value of black. So this is a black border here. Uh, for the reflect, you can see that it's just a mirror reflection of our border. So if you draw a straight line here, it reflects it. Replicate, what this does is it will just extend the pixel at the border all the way to whatever padding size you set. And then wrap, what it does is it takes, um, you know, the bottom wrap it around to the top and vice versa. So you can see the top here is showing on the bottom and the bottom here is showing on the top. So it's as if you were to stack up a bunch of images um, like side by side or up and down. And that's what you would see if you were to wrap it. Okay, so those are the different wrap um, border options you have. Choose the one that best suits your needs. And um, sometimes it's gonna be trial and error, but at least you know the different types of border options there are. So if you found this video helpful, Give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.